Welcome back to the ABC Networking YouTube channel and my name is Dobias van Inge. First of all, I need to say I'm sorry that I didn't post a video in a long time, but I hope I can start regularly posting videos again. I was working on a video series that was focusing on Aruba Central and to be more specific, focusing on template groups. In the first video, I was explaining what we were going to do in this video series and how template groups can ease your life with using a more programmatic and more scalable approach to switch configs uh, from a cloud perspective. Then the second video, I was starting to create a template group. I added a 2930F switch to Aruba Central by adding his Mac and serial number. And I added the switch inside that particular template group that we had created. So that was the status where we are right now. In this particular video, we will start working on a basic template. And I always start working on something basic. So I take a basic template, start to build that template out, test that on one particular switch, and then create it for massive scale, 100 or thousands of switches that we can deploy this to. So that's how we start this. So besides that the video series, I hope will give you details how to do it. I also think that we get to a workflow. What you see on the screen right now is the default monitoring of Aruba Central. And what we will do is we will go to the configuration section of Wired because I was focusing on switch configurations here. As you can see now, you see switches Aruba and switch mass. You would think, hey, I don't see anything here on the screen that relates to template. This is correct and I did this on purpose. Because as you can see right here, I am on the 5i home infra group. So I'm not selected to my template group. So if I click on here and then I see here TG, remaining template group, ABC networking. That's the group where we added the switch in in the last video series. So let's click on this and you can see that our menu changes to templates, variables, advanced setting, configuration audit. There's nothing in templates yet. So let's move to configuration audit first. As you can see in configuration audit, we have a switch named it worked part of this particular group. And you can see the config sync is in gray and the template error is in red. This is a very important section. So if it is in gray, like you see at the config sync, the I is in gray, then everything is fine. If it is in red, it means it is an error. There is in this case, there is a template error. So let's go to a few template errors here. You can see a few errors and you can see the errors. There is no matching template found, which is correct because we didn't have any template configured yet. So not to worry too much here. Let's move to template again. But before we dive into the template section, I first want to go to the switch. You can see here, this is a console port of the switch. Then the switch is named it worked. So let's do a show run to see the configuration. You can see it's a pretty default config. Uh, very easy. What about if we do show Aruba central to make sure that it is connected? You can see that's the URL. It is connected and is in managed mode. So everything fine so far. Now let's dive into template because that is, that is a key thing. What I will start with is a very basic template and that is this particular campaign. And by the way, this tool is called Visual Studio Code. It is free and I have to say I'm pretty impressed by this IDE and I need to thank Joe Neville who is also creating a lot of videos in this, uh, in this YouTube channel because he has been pushing me to start using Visual Code. But it's really fast, really flexible. I'm using it for Python uh, and everything else. So this is the template we are going to push. You can see everything between the percentage is a, a, a variable. So you can see sys host name, uh, the SNMP engine ID, include credentials, etc. This is what we will be pushing to our switches to start as a basic template. In order to give you a little bit more information, I created this file. So everything that is underscore sys is like a default system variable that is automatically created when a device is connecting to Aruba Central in a template group then these variables are automatically pull off the switch. Then you see the system template header. This is an important one because this represents these two lines. You can see here uh, with the semicolon, these two lines with the semicolon. This is what is representing the sys template header variable because these header changes when it upgrades and these headers are unique to each device. So by using the the percentage underscore sys template had a percentage in your template, Aruba Central automatically takes care of that for you, which is very convenient. Then the last one is the module command. To relate it to the config, you can see it here. Module one type 
GL2588, depending on what kind of module, what kind of switches. So this sysmodule command uh, variable, what it does in the template is it reads the module command from the switch and it applies the right command inside your config. So it makes it more dynamic. You don't need to worry about this as a network administrator, which is very convenient. And then I also added the stack command. You don't see it in this config, but if we want to do stacking later on, then we can, we can use this will replace that particular stack uh, command. You can see here host underscore um, percentage underscore sys underscore host name. That variable is the default host name as it was running on the switch. We will, I will get back to that one later. Then we have the, uh, the default variable, the system engine ID include credentials. And here is some, uh, some VLAN information. You can see here underscore sys VLAN one untech command. So this keeps track of all the uh, untech ports uh, in a variable so that you can push that later on. So this is a very default config. So now what, since we explained the template, let's go copy this, copy, and let's add a template. Let's call this template basic ABCN. The model, we're going to use Aruba switches. Uh, we're going to use the, this for all the 2930Fs. So here's where you can play with if you want to do this in production environment. You can saw that I changed the switch. You can also create templates for IAP. And you can saw that I changed the model to 2930F. Now I can even uh, change that to the specific 2930F model if you want to. So this way you can either create it for all 2930F, regardless on the module, a template uh, on the model, or you can create it for a specific, for example, eight part model like we do here. And even if you want to, you can uh, bring it down to a certain software version. Important to know is that since software version 1605, when you push a template, the switch doesn't need to do a reboot anymore or as less as possible. Maybe some commands you still need to, but not every time you, you change your config, which is very convenient. If you want to, you can also import the configuration. So then you can start selecting a device that is part of your template group. You can import that. And out of that import of that config, a template will be built for you. But that's not something we are going to do because we are going to use this basic template template that we have. So let me pass this in. And as you can see here, these two are exactly the same. And this is the default template where we will start working with. And I do this the same for different projects or uh, different, cu different customers where we're working with. Start with a very simple, build that template out and then add add the other switches in there in order to scale out. Okay, so let me save it here. As you can see right now, I have a template name, basic a, a ABCN, a Aruba switch, 2930F, specific model, all versions, last modified. If I want to delete it, I can press the bin. If I want to edit it, I go back here and I can start editing it. Cancel. Now let's go to variables. As you can see here, these variables have been pulled when I was adding in my last video the, the switch to the template group. You can see here all sys gateway, sys host name. This is all the things we have been discussing. So now you can see um, if you want to download a variable file, you have two formats. You have a CSV, for example, if you like comma separated files, you want to import it to Excel and use it from that perspective. I always like to use JSON. I can now here upload and download a sample variable file. So let me first download a sample variable files and I will get this sample variable files. You can see some SSID for IAP. Okay, let me close this off. If I do this on CSV, download a sample variable files, I get a sample variables uh, from CSVs. So then I can import that in Excel. We're not going to do that. I leave it on JSON because I'm used to that and I think it is a little bit more easier to work with than, uh, than the CSV. Here is another thing. If you are selected to group and you have multiple uh, switches in the group, then you see all the variables of all switches. And then you can start uh, searching on this. For example, DHCP, you can see I get to DHCP. So if you have multiple switches, then you get the results of multiple switches. If you select one and just one switch, you only have the variables of that particular switch. So, but let me get back to the group. Okay, hope that's all clear. Now, this is where we are back to the template. Um, we have the template pushed here. 
you also have configuration audit. Remember that we were in the configuration audit before when I didn't have a template configured. Now you can see it worked, switch, config sync is I is gray and the template error I is gray. So that means everything should be fine. Why now? So if we go here, you can see that my host name changed from it worked to the uh, Aruba more or less default kind of work name. So if we, because if we do a show run, and that's the host name is this particular name now. That's due to the fact if we turn that back to the template, and let's say we, add, we do the template editing here, that's due to the fact because we are using that default underscore sys host name in there. So you saw that that immediately changed. And you also saw that I don't have an error anymore. If you want to get more information on these errors, what you can also go do is maintenance or not on the error, go to the audit trail. And you can see here, applying basic template, basic ABCN to device. Configuration push, success for device, and the configuration has been initiated on the device. So meaning everything went well. Let's go back to Wired. And if you want to see it on the switch, you use show log minus R. You can see profile manager, software lead. No, this one, configuration restore is initiated, successfully applied and changed as an MP. You also saw how quickly this was happening. So the last thing we're going to do in this particular video is look at the variables. So let's look at the variables. And I have a variable file here. So I can download this variable file, for example, for this particular switch. I can download, but I already have it in here. So you can see some variables. You also see that this default sys hostname being pulled off here. So what if I want to use my own variable and then, for example, change the particular hostname? So what I always do, leave all these default variables in there. Just leave them in there because it doesn't, it doesn't change anything for you. Just leave them in there, what makes it better. And just to explain this, this is JSON code. You can see that they are wrapped. And then we have our first object here. That's the serial number of this particular device. You can see serial. That's how it starts. And this is how Central can identify this particular device. And then every time you see more or less a variable with the value and in the template that is being used. In order to change this, we need to upload. We need to upload a new template. So let's say we're going to call this template for the host name. Host name. Let's call this ABCN host name. A little bit long, but okay. Let's copy this. Oh, let me do like this. Copy ABCN host name. That's that's the new template we are going to push. Let's do this first. So let's save this. Let's go to template. And let's uh, change this template also in here. I will just edit it in here, but I want to make sure. I'm going to adjust the template to A, B, C, N. You see here, you can see all the template variables, but that A, B, C, N is not in there. So if I save it and I do this, you can see that ABCN hostname variables now also added in here. In order to start using this variable, I need to go to variables and I need to upload this new variable file, but I need to add this, this variable first. So what I do is a comma at the end, then I do this ABCN hostname. I do a semicolon and then I give it a name, right? Give it a name ABCN switch zero one, for example, normally we probably use your naming scheme because this is the last entry. I don't know. And the JSON format is, is uh, saying that you don't need after the last one, you don't need to use a comma. So this one is now fine. So let's save this and let's select it to JSON and let's upload this variable file. Desktop ABCN variable files uploaded successfully. So that went well. Uh, let me do a refresh here. What you can see here now is ABC hostname, ABN switch one. So that is correct based on the new variable files. So let's, load, let's go to template, but first go to configuration audit. Let's see if there's any errors. There's no errors. Okay, that's great. So let's go to maintenance again and see if anything has happened already. Let's go to the audit trail. 
this is time let's see if we can see the time a little bit better 1370 okay so there is a config push being done so let's move back to the templates let's see now you see if you do enter you can see abnc switch one is being pushed and you can also see this info configuration here so this is a very first step in creating a basic template try to play around with the variables and then we will work uh, in another videos towards the end version of templating and more complicated things if you have more switches or you want to make differentiation with switching start to use loop techniques and other things but i think this gives you a good insight in how you can start use templates and i also think it gives you a view on how dynamic and how scalable this can be so this concludes my uh, third video in this video series and as i mentioned before again sorry for posting so late but i uh, i will start regular posting i hope you like this video please do a thumbs up if you have any question leave comments and we will try to get back to you thank you very much and hope to see you next time